Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier, and welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you are going to learn how to use the past continuous to ask yes-no questions in English. Let's begin with what you already know, the past continuous in Spanish. In Spanish, to ask a yes-no question in the past continuous, you use this formula. An upside-down question mark, plus the subject, plus the verb estar en el pasado, plus the verb ending in ando or yendo. Here are some examples. Ella estaba hablando. El niño estaba comiendo. Nosotros estábamos estudiando. In English, there is one big difference from Spanish. You have to always say the verb to be first to ask a question. Here is the formula in English. The verb to be in the past tense plus the subject plus the verb ending in ing. Here are some examples. Ella estaba hablando. Was she speaking? Ellos estaban estudiando. Were they studying? The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify verbs in the past continuous tense in yes-no questions in English. Okay, below is a review of how the verb be changes depending on the subject. If the subject is I, he, she, or it, the verb be changes to was. If the verb, or rather, if the subject is they, we, or you, the verb be changes to were. So just like in Spanish, the verb to be changes depending on the subject. Here are some examples. El tigre estaba corriendo. Was the tiger running? Los hermanos estaban jugando? Were the brothers playing? Estaba yo cocinando bien? Was I cooking well? Here are all of the forms of the verb to be in affirmative, negative, and yes-no questions in the past continuous. I was, I was not, was I? He was, he was not, was he? She was, she was not, was she? It was, it was not, was it? We were, we were not, were we? They were, they were not, were they? You were, you were not, were you? The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form positive, negative, and yes-no questions in the past continuous. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use the past continuous tense in English. I will see you back here for the next lesson. Good luck.